I understood that Bob was a general and they mm. called him Skip and he was the tough gun and he was from the ghetto mm. and he was all of those things at the same time as being a beautiful, humble, gentle, mm. lovely man. Bob, I know it's dangerous. But you're the only one who can unite the people. You ready, Bob? No guns can stop this message. I want the world to change. And that time is no. I'm gonna dive right in, right? So I'm here with Black Things UK. Um, and I guess if we're talking about Black West Indian or Black Caribbean people in the UK, there's a lot of people worried about the preservation of culture. Um, mm. And I think this film really leans in directly to it. You both have Caribbean backgrounds. I know, Lashana, you've got um, Jamaican background. I also know that you've got a Trini background as well. Mm. Can you talk to me about what you think stories like this do for the diaspora in the UK? Mm. It's a it's a tough one because we're looking through the lens of an artist. So you could argue that it's very specific to the musical world, um, though it's not because uh, one thing I think the world has a misconception of is the fact that Caribbean Brits are Caribbean. <laughs> like we are rooted in that. The household or the grandmother or the mm. aunts or someone or the community, the shops, the food is rooted in our original countries um and then we have this like merge of our britishness that comes through in a really interesting way and somehow generationally we find it in this um i don't know marrying of the two that makes us proud of both mm. um which is i guess kind of complicated to explain to people who aren't from the uk and caribbean um or african or asian or anyone black and brown here um, but I think this film really gives us a chance to um, celebrate accents and the mm. understanding of accents and the acceptance of accents. Mm -hmm. um, that's one thing that being a Brit or even someone who has come from another country to live a better life here, we don't get to accept it widely and proudly. I think that it's something that, you know, my parents' generation, when they came, one of my parents, their accent is one accent is Jamaican and the other one is like RP yeah. and the other accent my other parent is like they're Jamaican and that's it mm. um, and there's a choice that you have to make to kind of like slide between the two and I think that's a shame so with this film we see the the world of the Caribbean but through a Jamaican lens being rooted in this global celebration of a legend that mm. you know is everybody's icon mm. no matter what culture you're coming from mm -hmm. and that says a lot about acceptance i'm guyanese and i can relate to that oh so, <laughs> yeah i really can what about for right. you kaisley i mean that was beautiful yeah i mean what, i don't know i can't come with anything again that was <laughs> you said you've got this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was just like you know my grandma and granddad from trinidad and um they came over in 58 or 59 and uh yeah i grew up with them you know and they sounded Trinity to the day, oh gosh. That, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. gosh. So, oh gosh. But coming into this, I've, I'm starting from scratch. It doesn't matter if I've grown up with Jamaicans. It doesn't matter if I've, my barbershop, everyone's Jamaican. It doesn't matter how much I think I know about Jamaica. Mm. It's about starting from the beginning and going, Bob talked the way Bob talked. And with Ziggy and the heads of the studio and the family, from the very beginning, it was like, you know the way Bob talks is how we got to do this, and everyone agreed. Yeah. So we were good. You know what I mean? It was never, a, it was never, a, it was never a conversation of we're not gonna because within the way Bob speaks, it holds the culture. It holds all of the information, everything I need to get to understand his spirit is in the way he speaks. It's the voice. It was finding Bob's voice with his friends and family and boys he grew up with in Trenchtown and Neville Garrick who's with us every day and all of the family and all of the friends who I spent time that's how I learned about Bob and that's how I learned about the culture with you guys and then all the cast come in and they're from Jamaica and, and mm. everyone 
had an input and everyone was there to help me help the film mm. and, and celebrate Bob and represent Bob in the best way. Mm. But help him, I needed a lot of help because, yeah, Bob's very specific and you can't copy him. You can't do an imitation of him. You just, you, all we could do was try and find a little bit of his spirit and mm. his spirit and the culture of this, it's the same thing. Mm. It makes a lot you of know? sense. And speaking of spirit, I kind of want to lean into the tenderness. So, despite the conflict between Bob and Rita, they were, we are a fan of black love here at Black Things UK, right? And there's this real tenderness. There's a, there's a scene where Rita's washing Bob's hair in the sink mm. and it's so tender. Mm. Can you both talk to me about what you lent into when it, when it came to that tenderness? Because not everything was said. You said a lot to each other with looks. A lot of things were inferred. We felt mm -hmm. what was going on for you rather than saw it, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to me about what you both lent into to depict that tenderness? I remember having that conversation. We had that conversation. We, uh, we had conversation. We, we, we were working on the characters six, seven months before, you know, and I remember saying, how can we find a way to communicate a sense or a feeling of unconditional love yes. when we're not talking? Yeah. So I don't know what, we, but we were, that, that was important, that was, our, we were, our concentration was on that, you know, I had an instruction from Jamaica, and when I say Jamaica, I mean every person I talked to in Jamaica who knew Bob, in some way, shape or form, was saying the same thing, and it was Bob Nassaf, you know, he's mm. not soft, so it was really, that was the biggest challenge for me, was that I understood that Bob was a general, and they mm. called him Skip and he was the tough gun, and he was from the ghetto, mm. and he was all of those things at the same time as being a beautiful, humble, gentle, mm. lovely man. Lego told me one day, it nearly brought tears to my eyes, he was remembering Bob, and he was going, he was nice, man, he was nice, man, he was just going, he was nice. Mm. So, he, so Bob was all of these things, and with Neville there, I, I was like, Neville, you know, tough gun, oh, love a boy, you know, it was like trying to find all of that, so I needed a lot of help with the tenderness because I heard the creation of that album was intense. Mm. Like, what was it like to be over around Bob at that time? Because they nearly just killed them, you know? He nearly died. So he's coming mm. to London creating that album and there's a trauma and he didn't have therapy then. Mm. Mm. There's no therapy Speak for them it. to go yeah. to, you know? So mm. they're there and they're, they find their safety in music, they find their safety in the community, they find their safety in togetherness, in football, in running, you know? And I really identified with that. And um, so... The tenderness and the tough gong, like that, I, I feel like, you know, it was, it was, yeah, trying, trying to make sure we got all of those beats in was really yeah. important to me because I know when, when, when people told me that in Jamaica, I was like, I get it, I get it, I get it. We need to understand where Bob came from and he grew up in Trenchtown and it's rough, mm -hmm. you know, so, um, but yeah, everyone was there to help, you know what I mean? It was like, you know, so, so many stories about him, you know, and, uh, so, but I'm glad you felt the, the tenderness because it's important. It's important you're talking about black love on screen. Saying black love and tender in the same sentence seems to just be like, everyone seems to be allergic to it somehow. Um, to, be able to, to be able to go into both, and I know we're running out of time, but um, to be able to go into both, to discuss both through a script or through two characters that, you know, the world think they know, but really after watching this film, you, you can clearly say, ah, maybe I didn't know Bob. Or maybe mm -hmm. I didn't know the real Bob. Or maybe I, I had this kind of illusion of Bob as the icon and I didn't really give myself a chance to dive into who he was as a, as a soul. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we're giving people a chance to really sit with that, sit with the presumption of you knowing someone. And also I think when I met Mrs. Marley, I was able to see that, that innocent, childlike, teenage love that she clearly still has oh. for this man, which mm -hmm. is tender. And I thought... Okay, if in doubt, and I don't know what the hell is going on in this scene, I'm leaning on her spirit and I'm leaning on mm -hmm. her tenderness for this man. Mm -hmm. And that's not her withstanding anything. That is her um, leaning into her strength and leading into her, her, her spirituality in order to remind herself and, and Bob of what they have. And that's not in a cute way either. That's in a we got work to do. Mm -hmm. We're on this mm -hmm. earth for a reason. 
um, and that's special. So I'm glad that we get to celebrate that loudly and that it's not, you know, bashed around the head. It's very a very real relationship mm -hmm. and they went through many iterations of that relationship. Mm -hmm. But in order for it to be real and authentic, we needed to show all of the shades. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm glad that by the end of the film, you just go, you know what, I rate you. Mm. I rate this woman mm -hmm. because she made choices that were hard and hard for herself, for her children and for the basically the community mm -hmm. for the sake of this man. Mm -hmm. So props to her all day for that. Yeah, and tough, tough, tough and tender can be at the same time. Exactly, you know, it's like, exactly. It to be Caribbean, we know this. Yeah. Easily. Um, thank Easily. you both, yeah. so we run out of time. I've got so many questions for you, but thank you both so much for the time today nice. and just thank bringing you. that tenderness to the convo. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank it's you. good to talk. It's so good.